Hi everybody, my name is Gabriel and this is the Pause Manager. It's a package I created for handling pause and resume events using Unity Events. It's small, free, easy to use, it's fully integrated with Unity's input system and you can use it in commercial and non-commercial projects. This is the link for the asset store I'll leave in the description and let's show you how to use it. Here I have Unity's 2017.1.0. This is the minimum version required to use the Pause Manager. So let's go to Window, Asset Store, and search for the Pause Manager. Pause Manager. It's right here. Here I have downloaded it again, and probably there will be a download button for you. So just click it and then click on the import button. As you can see, it's quite small. There's only four scripts, a prefab, there's the example scene, a rotation script used in example scene, and documentation. So let's hit import. There you go. Let's, let's open the example scene to show you. Here in the example scene, I have the pause manager prefab. There's two objects, the left and the right. And under pause manager and under general properties, I have use time scale. This is usually used to pause and resume the game using Unity's time scale. So when time scale is zero, the game will be paused. When time scale is one, the game will be resumed. Under controller properties, I have input manager and a button name. The input manager is under edit, project settings, input. So the pause manager plugin usually use the input manager to pause and resume the game and the entry for the cancel it's right here here the cancel has the escape key from keyboard and joystick button one to represent the cancel so when you hit the cancel button it will trigger the pause or resume event. And under event properties, there's pause event and resume event. So when you pause the game, the, all the methods right under pause event will be triggered. And when you resume the game, everything under resume event will be triggered. So let's show you. So I'll just hit the escape key from keyboard and I pause the game. The objects were rotating and they stopped rotating because I'm paused. So when I click it again, it's resumed. So this text right here, it appeared because of the pause events. So when I enable the text under pause events. So when I resume it, when I resume the game, the text will be disabled. It's easy to handle events when you pause and resume the game. I would like to show you now the time scale property. So when I disable it, uncheck it, and when I pause again, only one object stops rotating, the other continues. And why? Because the right game object has the pause event handler attached. So I'm, when I'm not using time scale, I'm using pause event handler in each game object. So when I pause the game, the pause events 
from this script will be triggered. And when I resume the game, the resume event will be triggered. So if you don't want to use time scale, so you can use pause event handler in each game object you want. It's quite simple. Here under controller properties again, I have the, if I don't want to use input manager, I have the input system, which in this case is not installed. In the next video, I'll show you how to use input system. I hope you like it. Leave a, a comment below and download it. I am sure it will help you. Thanks.